اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد آتینا داؤد و سلیمان علم صلق اللہ العظیم آنربل منسٹر ایلیمنٹری اینڈ سیکنڈری ایجوکیشن ہیڈ آف یونیسیف ہیڈز آف ڈیفرنٹ پارٹنر آرگنائزیشنز ریپریزنٹیٹیوز آفیسرز آف ہائر ایجوکیشن ایلیمنٹری اینڈ سیکنڈری ایجوکیشن ڈپارٹمنٹ ڈسٹنگوش گیس لیڈیز اینڈ جنتر من السلام علیکم اینڈ آف ویری گوڈ مورننگ ٹو آل آف یو اٹ از ریئلی این آنر ٹو بی ہیئر امانگس یو اینڈ دیٹ ٹو ود ریفرنس ٹو ایجوکیشن وچ ہیز بین ویری آنیسٹلی پارٹ اینڈ پارسل آف مائی بلیف وی آل نو دیٹ ایجوکیشن ان دس پورٹ آف دا ورلڈ ہیز a uh, lot of uh, challenges to face with some natural and of course some man made we need to overcome these challenges and i will be very brief uh, uh, and specific to the province of khyber pakhtunkhwa uh, which has been through a very difficult circumstances during the last two and a half decades. Despite these hardships, especially in the merged district, districts of the province, the government of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa has been able to manage and to improve the status of education with maximum possible allocations from the provincial budget. Besides, both elementary and secondary education and higher education department, their management, their teachers, professors, and intellectuals are trying hard to ensure quality education. In our province, few major challenges that we are facing one is the out of school children we we need to uh, overcome that challenge we are clear about that we have the statistic we know the area the spared work is done the only thing is uh, we need some quick steps and of course that need financial allocations The second big challenge in the province is the challenge of overcrowded classes. Right now, after meticulous calculations, our department is in a position to say that right now we need 14,000 additional classrooms to maintain a 140 ratio of the students. We have classrooms. where we have more than 100 students 90 80 70 there are very few schools where the number of student is less than the actual uh, 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 facility but these are limited number of school and of course there are reasons uh, last year uh, we run a, ran a massive drive for enrollment Our target was 8 lakh and 50,000 and through a well organized effort we have been able to enroll 8 lakh and 40,000 students boys and girls we have the details of every child his or her name their parents names their address their age their class etc etc this year we upgraded the target to 1.6 million the enrollment drive will complete by the 30th of the next month uh, we may not be able to achieve the target of 1.6 million but definitely we will go up uh, and we may have 1.3 or 1.4 million new children so the required number of additional classrooms will increase as for as 
the enrollment and the mainstreaming of the out of school children is concerned, we need 22,000 new primary school to accommodate th 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 that number. Again, it is not an easy job. The shortest possible solution in terms of time and resources is that we have two we have two options. One is the community schools, which is run by the elementary and secondary education uh, foundation. The school uh, is not that costly. It does not require any land acquisition. It does not require huge funds to build a school. So it just needs it just needs 20 to 30 days to establish a school. And the community ownership is far better than the one we are running on the uh, on the government side. The second is the second ship schools. The experience is going well. We can utilize the existing building. Let me tell you that in the merge areas and in some of the central districts, there are areas where we have a primary school for girls, but we don't have a middle school in five to six or in some cases 10 to 12 square kilometer of area. Similarly, we have middle schools for boys and girls, but we don't have high school. And we have high school, but in some, but in majority area, we don't have higher secondary school, particularly in the mud districts. So it is, it is quite difficult for a girl after qualifying grade, grade five, her parents are worried about her further education. They don't have the, they don't have the financial strength to uh, make arrangements for their transportation. In some areas, we don't have roads, we don't have local transport. And the only option is to convert that primary school into a middle in the second ship and a middle into higher and higher into higher secondary. So this, this is the, this is the way forward. This is the way forward for the out of school children who, who have uh, their age right now for 10 years, 12 years or 13 years like that. Uh, UNICEF and other partner organizations are doing a wonderful job. We have their syllabus. We can, we can bring them into the mainstream through ALP centers. So that is the third solution. And the, the two bigger challenges are, one is the capacity building of the teachers, which is very important because we have, we have taken a major shift from the conventional way of teaching and examination in our province. Last year, we started with SLO based teaching, 40% exam on SLO base, and this year we are going to 100% SLO based examination. And that needs the capacity building of the teacher to teach on that line to improve the comprehension and the learning ability of the student. We are moving from cramming to conceptual development. This is a major shift. And for this, we need master trainers across the province. We have around 30 training centers throughout the province. We will, we will request the partner organization to assist us in this new training of activity. We have inducted 64,000 teachers and during, the, during the last one and a half year and these are fresh graduates. Teaching is an art. Teaching is a skill. We need, to, we need to train these graduates to make them effective teachers. And the, the, the third major challenge is the assessment at primary level, at middle, high, and higher secondary. The last assessment was done in 2021. We want to make it a regular feature. So with these words, uh, I once again thank you all. I welcome you all. And I am extremely grateful to all partner organizations. I wish I could name them all, but it will consume time. So I am extremely, on behalf of the elementary and secondary education department, I am extremely grateful to all partner organizations for their continuous assistance 
during corona before that and during the loss so many years your cooperation and your assistance has been an asset for us thank you very much pakistan zindabad